and represent data. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing? Bunty, I have ten marbles. I am trying to find out how many marbles of each color are there. Come on, let me teach you an easy way to find that. Teach me. Today, in this video, we will learn about collecting data and representing it in a table. Bubbly, first of all, you have to make group of same coloured marbles. First group of red coloured marbles, second group of yellow coloured marbles and third group of green coloured marbles. Well done. Now create a table like this. Then, now you have to write the names of the colours red, yellow and green in the column colour of marbles. What do we have to do next? Now we have to count the number of marbles in each group. There are one, two and three red marbles in the first group. One and two, two yellow marbles in the second group. And one, two, three, four and five green marbles in the third group. Now we have to write these numbers in the table. Yes, now in the column count of marbles, we will write 3 beside red colour, 2 beside yellow colour and 5 beside green colour. Well done, Bubbly. You represented the data very well. Data? What is that? Making groups of similar objects, counting the number of objects in the group and filling that information in a table is called data. Bunty, this way I can easily know how many erasers, pencils, sharpeners and scales do I have. Yes, let me teach you one more way to collect the data and fill it in the table. Definitely. Firstly, you have to group the given objects whose data you wish to collect. I have seven pencils, five erasers, four sharpeners and two scales. Now, you have to create a table for the same. Okay, I have made this table. I wrote the names of the objects in the first column and count of objects in the second column. Now write which objects are there in the column names of the objects. In the column names of the objects, I wrote pencil, eraser, sharpener and scale. And now? Now in the column count of objects, you have to draw as many Triangles, squares or circles as the number of objects. So we will draw triangles to fill the table. Okay, you have seven pencils. So you have to draw seven triangles in the column count of objects. I have five erasers, so I have to draw five triangles. I have four sharpeners, so I have to draw four triangles. And I have two scales, so I have to draw two triangles. Absolutely right. Well done, Bubbly. Oh, wow! It is very interesting. Friends, in this video, you learned about collecting data and representing them in a table. In the next video, we will see some more examples of collecting data and representing them in a table.